Hi, it's Andy Letcher here from Schumacher College in Devon in the United Kingdom and it's a beautiful frosty sunny morning and uh, I'm standing outside in the Dartington estate and the spring birds have just started singing and I can hear a woodpecker drumming away on the trees behind me and when we look at all this great abundance of stuff you have to ask where did it come from? Why does the universe produce novelty, newness, new things? Um, shortly after the Big Bang, when everything had cooled down enough, all there was was hydrogen atoms. And uh, everything that we see around us, everything that we have, all our computers, our politics, our philosophy, our culture, our politicians, even Donald Trump, came out of that initial sea of hydrogen atoms. Well, that's deeply mysterious. And the story we're told um, that we grow up with in the West is, well, it's just chance. It's just the random bouncing together of uh, atom atoms and atomic forces according to the laws of nature or um, the laws of evolution. And, and I think consequently we feel alienated from the world. We feel distance. We have no place in the world. Science is interested in the workings of the world. Why, for example, we see a sunset. It can explain why the sun appears to move across the sky. It can explain why the sun goes molten red uh, at a sunset. But it brackets out the question of why there are people like you and me who can sit and find aesthetic pleasure from watching the sunset. That's called the, uh, uh, the fallacy of the bifurcation of nature, uh, according to the philosopher Alfred North Whitehead. So I'm a bit distracted. There's someone calling their dog behind me. <laughs> but someone calling their dog, where did that come from? So I want to invite you to come on on this course. Uh, we have the wonderful teacher from California, Matthew Seagal, who's an extraordinary teacher, fantastic philosopher, really understands his philosophy and can really explain it. Um, he's going to be looking at this other strand, this sort of rather forgotten strand of Western philosophy, which puts humanity back in the creative process of the universe, um, back in cosmogenesis. Uh, it's going to be a thrilling ride, starting with Plato, um, ending up with a, a participatory view of the cosmos, in which humanity is not this alienated adjunct looking on um, rather sadly, but we are a fundamental part of the unfolding of the universe. Do please come and join us. It's going to be a very exciting journey, and I promise if I do speak in the course, I'll make more sense than I have done this morning. <laughs>